Hey guys, so I am starting out with my eyebrows. I'm going in with Benefit Brow in the shade number 3. I don't normally do my brows on camera, but I just thought I would include it today, so yeah. So I fill them in and then I'm taking the MAC Concealer, the Studio Fix 24 Hour Concealer in NC20. And I'm kind of putting that on my eyelids and also using it to carve out my eyebrows. So I just switched over to an E62 which is a much more precise brush to carve the bottom of my brows. And then I took my Studio Fix powder and I just set down my eyelids and then went in with a bit of Gimme Brow in the shade number one to make my brows look nice and full. Then I'm going in with some tape just on the outer corners of my eyes to create a nice sharp line. And then I'm taking the ColourPop Zodiac palette and I'm first going in with the Libra and I'm just using an E40 to messily kind of buff this all the way through the crease. Then on a Sigma E25 I'm going into the Sagittarius and I'm picking up a fair bit of that product and I'm packing it on the outer corner and then buffing it all the way through the crease. Then just going back in with the E40 and blending my edges, doing the same thing on the other eye. This color is so pigmented, it's insane. And then once again, just blending out with my E40. And I just kind of go back and forth to make sure I've got enough color intensity. Then I'm picking up the Libra once again, just adding a little bit more of that to the crease just to kind of help diffuse the product. And then I'm going in with my Studio Fix powder and I'm taking this on an E39 and kind of just cleaning up the edges of the eyeshadow and then going back in with the E40 once again and blending out. And then here I'm just intensifying the Sagittarius a little bit more. Then I'm taking the shade the Virgo and I'm using the E25 just to kind of pop this in the outer corners. It wasn't really pigmented enough though, so it didn't really make much of a difference. Then I'm taking this Scorpio on my finger and I'm just pressing this into the eyelid all over. Then I'm going into the Capricorn which is the black with the glitters. So I tapped out any of the glitter and then kind of applied this in the outer corner and then brought it through the crease. Then just switching back over to my E40 and blending those edges. And then I took a little bit more of the Scorpio and just patted that on to make sure I still had the intensity. Then I'm taking my Sigma liquid liner pen in Wicked and I'm just creating a winged liner with this. Then I just went back in with that E39 with no product and blended above the eyeshadows once again. Removed the tape and used a makeup wipe to get rid of any of my fallout. And then I just went back in with that E40 once again and blended the edges. And then back in with the E25 and made sure my intensity was still all there. Then I took the Sigma Longwear Liner Pencil and I just put that in my tight line. And for mascara, I used the Rimmel Wow, wow Wings, I think it's called. Um, I'm actually really liking this mascara at the moment. I've been using it lately and I'm a fan. And then for falsies, I'm taking the Glam by Manicare Luxe Lashes in Harper. Moving on to the face, I'm priming using the MAC Strobe Cream in Pink Light, just massaging that all over the skin. And then for foundation, I'm taking the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation. I haven't used this in a while and I forgot how much I love this. It's so dewy and like makes your skin look so plump and juicy and I just love it. So I'm blending it out using a damp beauty blender. I just applied a layer all over my face and then I did go in and apply an extra little layer on the inner portions of my face where I felt like I needed just a little bit more coverage and as you can see it builds up beautifully. Then I'm taking the NYX foundation stick in the shade Caramel and I'm just using this to cream contour my face. So I'm applying it to my cheekbones, my hairline, temples and under my bottom lip. I'm taking this Models Prefer Buff and Blend brush, I'm fairly sure it's called. And I just go back in with my sponge um, between my blending just to make sure everything is super seamless. And then I did just take whatever remaining product I had down the sides of my nose. And then to conceal my face, I'm taking the same MAC concealer I used earlier 
um, I'm applying it underneath my eyes and down the center of my face to act as a highlight. I really like this concealer. I, I really like it. It's not super, super, super full coverage, but it's like fairly full coverage and it's quite natural and kind of satin looking. Then I'm taking the MAC Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette and I'm taking that middle shade. It's more like a banana-y shade and I just started to set the center of my face. And then for the rest of the face, I took my Studio Fix Foundation Powder in C3 and just stamped that all over my skin. Then I mixed those two contour shades together on a Sigma F05 and kind of just set my cream contour and bronzed up my skin a little bit at the same time. For blush, I used Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso, which is one of my favorites. So I just applied that to my cheeks. And then for highlight, I went in with Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive, and I just used my Anastasia Illuminator brush to apply that to all of the high points of my face. And then I set everything down with Fix Plus in Pink Light from MAC. Back onto the eyes, I took the Sagittarius on an E30 pencil brush and I just started to apply this all the way underneath the lower lash line. And then I went in with a clean E35 brush and just really buffed out those edges. Then I'm picking up the Scorpio on the same E30 brush and I'm just applying this more in the inner portion of the lower lash line, bringing it about halfway. And then just going back in and blending with the E35 brush. And then I took the shade The Cancer, which is such a beautiful color. I took it on a clean E30 brush and I just highlighted my inner corners with that shade. Then I took my liner pencil once again and popped that in my waterline. And then I took it all the way through my lower lash line and kind of really smudged it into the lower lashes just to make it look nice and thick and a little bit more smoky. And then I finished them off with some lower lash mascara. Then for the lips, I lined them using Models Prefer Lip Liner in Always Nude. And then to fill them in, I used Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stone, which I felt like went perfectly with this eye look. And that completes the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video.